Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And if you do, or when you do, please tap on the little notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Also, if you tap the little like button, we appreciate that too. Well, I guess I should start by apologizing this evening because we haven't put out a video in over two weeks, and that's not something that normally happens to us. However, the weather got cold, I got a cold, and let me tell you, I've been in the house and staying warm, and coming out to the garage has not been something I really wanted to do, and I was coughing so well, I didn't really want to share that with everyone, so pardon me. However, did make it outside today, trying to get Elsie started today. We wanted to do a, a video on Elsie's startup, and I said, wait a minute, there's no telling what this beast is going to do. I really don't think I want anybody watching me. And I did get her started. She ran on one cylinder pretty well. However, the other kind of dragged her down a little bit. So I'm going to get back on it tomorrow. The big deal is I think I will go through the circuit breaker again, check out the carburation again. Uh, she does have, have uh, compression in her rear cylinder, and she's cutting in and out. So it's a real chance it could be the points, a condenser, could be in the carburetor. I really did get a lot of response out of the carburetor playing with it while I got it running. But we'll just have to see. I'm going to have to do some more exploratory work. I could show a little bit what we got done before we uh, stopped, what we got done on our last video, or after our last video. We've got all of this stuff done and hooked up, everything on this side. Um, pipes, I keep getting them straighter and straighter. They're going to be straight yet. And, of course, the pedals or the controls are all hooked up and working. The lines are all hooked up and working. Everything's pretty much hooked up and working. We did rewire the whole thing. Headlights working both high and low beam. Um, cameraman Mike hooked up and rebuilt the horn and got all that going. Uh, we had to rebuild the petcock, which was kind of neat. This is kind of a later style petcock. And the local shop had a rebuild kit for it in stock, so I just put in that, and gee, it's working perfectly. Um, other than that, about all we've got left to do is change rear tire and go over the brakes. But I do want to get on this thing, like I said, probably tomorrow, and see what I can find. We've put new spark plug wires on it. We've been testing the spark, and the spark looks good. But when it's actually running, I don't think it's getting a consistent spark to the rear cylinder. Either that or it's carburation. I'm going to find it, whatever it is. But we'll be looking into that tomorrow. Um, like I said, we got everything done on this side. This was the, the clutch pedal that we did and with a, with a heel rest on it and all that sort of fun stuff. Mike actually did the battery top and everything, so the battery's mounted in there in the stock position. And that's working real well. So that's about it for now, I think. Uh, oh, there it is. You can see the, the dimmer switch mounted on the handlebars. Looks a little funky, but it works with a horn button and all. So there it is. We're going to get busy, like I said, tomorrow, I'm hoping, if it isn't too freezing cold. I'm not wanting to breathe any, any cold air in with that cold. So until then, I, I will be out on the road very soon so that I can say, until then, I'll see you out on the road.